Good morning and good night. My name is Trevin vs NFT and today's video will be a little special. So we'll be doing a whitelist giveaway. So Pixel Baby Yoda or PBY. So if you're able to go in their Discord, go in the main chat, say Trevin vs NFT's video brought me here, you'll be able to get a whitelist. So the cool thing is those will be minting February 5th. The main sale will be February 11th, which is almost a week later. So as stated, there will be a Star Wars Mandalorian themed. They're looking to make more collections in the future around Star Wars, and I feel like that's a really good thing to go after because the Star Wars fan base is ginormous and huge. And if they're new to NFTs, what great way to do it. So there will be 8,888 of these guys, or Baby Yodas. The community fund, 2% of royalties go back to the community fund. That's nice to have. Forever on the Solana network. Big fan of that. Passive income and staking. Staking is almost a must in every project and it really gives back to the holder. So moving down to phases. Pretty, not much really here. Just saying that they're going to build their community, bring engagement, bring people to it, which we're basically there. Phase two is going to be development of the game or of a, a PVP style. DAO creation, NFC staking. Game releases, phase three. Staking rewards on NFTs. DAOs. Strike more partnership, marketing, and giveaways for charity also. And then they're actually trying to make it go to a mobile, which I feel like is huge because just like that will bring another tier of people in to NFTs, and I'm all for that. Here's the team a little bit. Also charity, so we pledge to give away 10% of funds to our charity fund. Like this, we can solve problems in our world. I like that a lot. I'm huge on charity, so it's nice to see. Let's go a little bit to their documents to go a little bit more in depth into the project. So the Pixel Baby Yoda player will be able to stake their NFTs, receive the PBY token as a reward and fight against people PVP style. I was a huge RuneScape player so this actually brings me RuneScape vibes and I love the player versus player mode. It's probably one of my favorites and it's actually what really got me into gaming. Okay, so here we go. So there's a total, like I said, of 8,888. Uh, Fever on Slaw Network. These will be a key into the PvP game. So there's a total of 2% royalties on sales where 2% goes to the community wallet. The community wallet is wallet owned by the creators for the purpose of funding the game and maintaining costs, marketing, graphics, etc. That is pretty common, so it's nice that they tell you exactly where the funds are going. So let's go a little bit more into the token. So as we can see here, 16% will go into the foundation. 58% will be for staking, which is very nice to see. And 26% liquidity. There will be token burns and buybacks of the token to ensure the system is tokenomics sound and set to reach higher prices. It's good to know that they're actually okay with burning tokens and buybacks. A lot of these smaller NFTs just have a huge amount of tokens but they won't do a token burn or a buyback which actually takes forever for the coin to skyrocket so staking nfts just like we said be here before 50 percent of the pby supply is going to staking lasting six months which will give you a lot of good passive income if you are looking to sell that later down the line staking rewards become airdrop to users simple as that you basically hold an nft you get airdropped i wish more projects explain that because there's a lot of paper hands or people looking for a quick flip so this actually helps reward the holders and right here staking has multiple tiers where this can earn as much as 10x rewards on staking the nft this also brings the market price up so that'll bring less baby yodas on the floor which then skyrockets the price There'll be a little bit of XP. So XP tokens give you certain benefits. Primary, it has different tiers, which increases your NFT staking. So one staking, 10 XP, and it goes down all the way to four. So 50K XP gives you four times staking. PVP mode is a game where users play against each other with their NFT in a tense battle with three rounds. The one who wins gets the other person's XP tokens. Like this person's can earn rewards playing the game, which takes the form of staking rewards being increased. This also makes the entire ecosystem self-sufficient and self-sustaining, as there are several tokenomic mechanisms put in place to ensure exactly that. I like that because it really gives more back 
to the user. And if we look over here, one win is 100 XP token added to your inventory wallet and the other way around. So this will be a full on game and you can actually make some decent money if you're pretty good at um, basically just PVP and you enjoy the project overall. This has so much potential and I'm really looking forward to minting this. So just going over their Twitter. So right here it says February and then the main date will be the 11th. They also have a huge following, which is around 10K followers. That's good to see. They're doing a giveaway right here. Um, very active. There's a lot of people on their Twitter and I feel like this project can go very far and more projects like this will start to pop up where they truly give back to their community and they over promise in a good way. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. It truly means a lot. Hope you have a fantastic night or morning and I'll see you next time. Bye.